What is going on everybody? My name is Tanner Shanelter. Thank you so much for coming to Snowflow Films. Today we are going to be working on the Duramax square body build. This is going to be episode 5 of the progress in the build. And this video isn't going to be very fun for me. It'll probably be fun for you guys to watch and everything. But I got to do a whole lot of sheet metal repair. I ordered all the stuff off of LMC truck. I looked on a bunch of websites. And the issue was I can't find stuff for the crew cab. The, the cab, all the rocker panels, like because the outer the outer rocker is one piece on the crew cab, but I can't find that. I can find a slip on it, but I don't want to slip on. I need the whole thing. So what I had to do, I had to buy two full sets of full inners and full outers, and for the rear doors, I'm gonna have to cut them up, shorten them, and make them fit because the doors aren't the exact same on the corners of the doors. But I'm not worried about it. I'll be able to get it done this weekend, though. Uh, I don't have the metal yet. I ordered it, but it won't be here until next week. So I will be able to do that kind of stuff next weekend. But this weekend, all I'm gonna be doing. I just went and bought a bunch of cutoff wheels, uh, some wire wheels, and a bunch of flat discs. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to find any rust on the truck that isn't in the rockers and see if I can clean it up and spray some rust inhibitor and uh, primer on it. And so all this first weekend is gonna be, it's pretty much just gonna probably be a big time lapse and some updates and stuff like that. But until next weekend, I won't be working on actually welding and cutting out metal. So I'm gonna go get out in the shop. I already got my work clothes on. I got some gloves out there. Let's get to it. Well, guys, I tried to take a time lapse um, of me getting this all down to bare metal, but uh, I went to check my phone after and apparently had fallen over in the first five seconds. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I didn't have any of that. But as you can see, I got all the upper insides of the doors and everything ground down. This is kind of what I was just worried about. All this stuff, all these seams had a bunch of rust inside of them. Not a bunch. Um, nothing was really rotted out or anything. It all It's all solid. But uh, there was just a lot of surface rust and I didn't want it to get any worse. So, ground it all down. I'm just going to coat it with a layer of uh, self-etching primer. Fill this with silicone right here. And that'll be it. Alright, well I just got the other side sprayed up too. Um, you can see I got the rear window removed. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that by myself. But it was, it was actually not too hard. I just I cut the seal on one side. Pushed it through with the screwdriver and grabbed it and just ripped it apart. Um, there's a couple things I'm going to have to fix, such as this crease in there. The window is actually bent right where the two panes come together because it's one of the sliders. Um, but it doesn't look, there's definitely some hardcore surface rust on some of it, but like nothing's really too rotted out, which I'm happy about because that's, that's a pain to have to fix all that. And then there's a dent up there too that I'm going to have to fix. Um, but I got all this stuff straight up. What is going on, guys? It's been a couple weeks, but I'm back out here. And as you can see, I have got my rockers, both my inners and outers. This is what the inner piece looks like. The inner piece is real confusing. I'm honestly not even sure how it's supposed to go in there because um, it's got more metal than you need. So you need to cut stuff off so it doesn't slip in right. So I'm, yeah, I'll figure it out. But. What I ended up doing was just buying two full sets of uh, left and rights, so it should fit the front okay, but the rear is way shorter obviously because the door isn't as wide, um, and I'm going to have to make it fit. I don't Either the rear is right or the front is right and one of them is wrong, I can't remember. I think this side's wrong and this side's wrong for both of these, so I'm going to have to figure out how to mend them in so that I can make them work and still not have any rust, but I'll get it all figured out. First things first, I need to make trim this thing so that it slides on here because as of right now, it comes up here too far and hits this so it doesn't slip on there. And I need to be able to have it sl slip right on over so that I can mark the actual cab to know exactly where I need to cut to put this new one in. So that's what I'm gonna get going and doing. I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting everything up and uh, I'll show you guys the process along the way. Hey guys, sorry for the tractor noise in the background. My dad's plowing, but I got this one all cut up to match it. And then I cut the rocker out of this thing. Um, fun fact, I didn't even cut the inside rocker. I cut the outside rocker and kicked it and it fell out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the flash on. Yeah, so you can see how bad this really is or was down there. Well, I'm sorry I didn't film any, uh, the process of me doing this guys, but my camera ran out of battery and died. Um, and I was kind of just in a rush to get this one done because I need to get this cab over into the other shop to do the rest of them Because as you can see it's dark and I'm having to use my flash because it's dark in here 
because there's not enough lights. There's only one light, no fireplace, and it gets cold. My freaking toes are freezing. But you can see I got the inner inner rocker all tacked up. Um, spot welded in a bunch of spots right back there. Um, I'm going to have to use a plate to fill in a bunch of this back here. Um, but I got it tacked in place. Now, these were for a standard truck, not a crew cab. And you can see that I am having issues getting it to line up. This is the best I've got it so far. I've got it all tacked into place. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a door and just make sure that it didn't tweak anything and make sure that everything lines up right before I actually go and weld it in. But as soon as I can get this thing all welded in, um, then it's good to take over to the other, other shop. The reason I need to get this in before I can do that is because if you don't have one of those in there with this entire floor cut out, this thing's gonna be very weak and it can bend and I really, really don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go grab a door and see how this thing lines up. And if it's all good to go, I'm a welder all solid. Well, as you guys can see, I got a really good gap along the bottom, which is good. Um, I'm happy with that. The only thing I'm not happy with is the actual shape of these rockers because I mean, I guess I can always force the door to go farther in. Ooh. Let me just point that off real quick. <laughs> um, no, you can, I can't, I can't get these rockers to come out any farther because if I pull them out, then the seal for the, uh, the door trim isn't going to line up. And you can see I have them, I have them lined up. And if I pulled this out any farther, none of this is going to line up anymore. So I can't really get the bottom of this rocker or this piece of the rocker farther out without, uh, cutting and adding more into it. And I'm... I'm really not gonna do that. That's more work than I wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this door off and while they're solid, I'm, I'm plenty good with it. I can always freaking do some uh, body work because I'm gonna have plenty to do anyways. So I'm not too worried about it. You guys, you gotta remember, I'm about as qualified to do this as you would think a 19 year old college student would be. So uh, yeah, this isn't gonna be a perfect truck. There ain't no ifs, ands, or buts but it's gonna be mine and it's gonna be very, very different than everybody else's. So I'm cool with that. Alrighty guys, well we spent all morning getting the new uh, fireplace set up in this shop. Um, and I got the truck out and I already got the cab pulled off and the cab's already sitting on jack stands in the shop. So we're all good to go. I gotta go grab my rockers and stuff and we're gonna go ahead and start get right into cutting and getting this thing all chopped up so we can get these new rockers in. It's been a few weeks since I've been working on this truck. Last time I was working on it, I ran out of gas on uh, my welding tank. So um, it's taken me a while to get that filled, but I finally got it filled, and uh, I'm going to go show you what I've got done on the truck. 
So that last time lapse, you guys saw me working on this rucker right here. I have that one all done. Well, not completely done. There's still stuff up in there that I need to fill and uh, still need to fill that in there and make sure all my welds are completely solid and grind them all down. But I also got this one tacked up. Got the outside of that one all welded in. And uh, <clears throat> I still got to do the insides of this. So this is where my gas ran out of my welder. Um, but I got a new tank right there. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start getting these inners welded in. And then once I get the inners welded in, I'm going to go ahead and grab the tractor and uh, go grab the bed, the old uh, the, the Duramax bed, and bring it over here and start using that for scrap metal. I'm going to chop that thing completely up, use every bit of scrap metal I can get off of that to fill all these holes and gaps and everything because there's a lot of flat plating on that bed. So that'll work perfect and uh, it'll be the right thickness and everything. So that's good. Um, I'm not going to time lapse the rest of this because you guys have already seen enough time lapse, but I'll get the camera out when I get the inners welded in and I start bringing the bed over here. Alrighty guys, well as you can see, I got part of the inner rocker in there. Um, that's as much as I can fit. All that's going to have to be plated otherwise, that's going to have to be filled too. Um, it's been a really long day. I've been doing a whole bunch of other stuff too. Um, so it doesn't look like I got a lot done, but I actually have put in several hours. Uh, every single weld that I've done on here so far, there was holes that needed to be filled and just needed to be solidly welded because there were some like quarter inch gaps and stuff that I had to uh, cut out some plate and fill. And like over there, um, where the fender mounts right there, the outer skin has one and then on the stock inner skin, there's one too, but on the inners that I bought from LMC didn't have one. So uh, I cut out an extra piece and welded it in there to double it up. And I haven't done that on this side yet, but I will. Then you can see over there also I tack welded those two pieces together because they were kind of flimsy. Didn't trust the, the, the pinch welds and pulled off a whole bunch of excess stuff. Um, and like in here, I welded in a plate right there because there was something for the brake booster that was uh, pinch welded. In. I mean, it was like a probably eight inch, eight square inch area and there was like 12 freaking pinch welds in it. So I drilled them all out and ripped it off and then cut that piece out since there were so many holes in it and then welded that plate in. Um, took off a bunch of other stuff that was pinch welded in. Um, but that's pretty much all I got done. So I'm going to come back tomorrow morning and bring that bed out here and cut out some plate and fill all that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff, all those holes and stuff. I'm gonna cut out more of that because the edge of it is kind of rusty. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet exactly, but I'll figure that out tomorrow. So uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, what's up everybody? Um, just filling you in. I am finished filling in every bit of rocker panel. This thing is ready to weld to the cab, which is, I mean, this is ridiculous. I've put so much time just into doing this section and no, nothing looks perfect and everything needs to ground down still but I'm gonna wait to do that until I have it welded to the other cab and I start actually doing finish work because I have plenty more welding to do and I don't see a point in just going back and forth between welding and finishing, welding and finishing, welding, you know. So unfortunately guys, that does mean we are at the, at the end of this video. Uh, I wanna thank you so much for coming and watching the entire thing. If you liked it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you wanna see more. I'm gonna be starting the, uh, the sixth video right here. I'm sorry it took so long to get the fifth video out, but it's just how it goes sometimes. So. I'll see you guys next time.